Greetings everyone, this is Nemo60 here and uh, this will be a reading of an, an article in the uh, Spring 2009 issue of British Naturism magazine. Uh, it's only available if you are a member of British Naturism, uh, obviously, although I will provide a link in the sidebar if any of those who may be watching this video at the time is interested in getting involved. But anyway, this is essentially just a beginner's guide to naturism, uh, explaining the main principles and um, often some fears you know that may come with those who are not familiar with the practice this is good for those wanting to get involved although it is also good for those who just simply want to know you know what it's all about uh, this is the Ronnie Fine Gibbs beginner's guide to naturism so you decided to become a naturist so now what is it that simple you take your clothes off and that's it well, yes in principle that's all you need to do. But there is a lot more out there to make naturism an enjoyable way of life. To be reading this, you obviously got as far as joining the BM or know someone who has, and that is a good way to, uh, of sourcing information. You can find details of clubs and swims, days out and holidays and destinations. Next, you decide to head off to one of these places. But what does this involve? Do you just turn up? What is expected of you? If I had to write a naturist law, I would say, do not do anything to offend or upset another person. But isn't that a good rule of any community? There is a social etiquette, as in any way of life. But first of all, relax. Naturism is about the feel-good factor, so don't get stressed out worrying how, much, uh, how you are to do it. Just be yourself, only when it's warm enough, remove your clothes. It is as simple as that. Well, okay, there may be a few unwritten rules. It can seem a little daunting to undress in front of perfect strangers, and, it is, and if it is your first time, no one is going to force you until you are ready. Take time uh, and feel comfortable. Once you are on the ground, uh, are in a group of naked people, you often feel the odd one out if you're dressed. Once you strip off, you feel one of the crowd and feels completely normal. This is true. You can generally choose where to undress, not necessarily with an audience. It is best to choose clothing that is easy to deal with, so it is not to attract attention to yourself. Something simple that pulls off on on with little effort. T-shirts and shorts for men, a simple sundress for the ladies. Women often feel very exposed when first going naked, uh, so it can be a good idea to wear a sarong. You can very simply loosen and drop sarongs to sit up and tie again. Sit down and tie it to get up again, without drawing attention to yourself. You'll soon be able to get up and walk without thinking of replacing it. Don't worry, you will no longer have to need to buy a new dress. Sorry, gentlemen, but when your lady says there's nothing to wear, she isn't joking. In case you can't tell, this is written by a female, not by me. Now that's the obvious factor. Anyway, continuing. Nature's venues mainly involve evening social socials to be clothed events, as handling food with each other on the dance floor is generally considered to be best carried out fully clothed. You might be wondering where to look and thinking it will be embarrassing to be close to uh, uh, other people when undressed. Don't fret, it will become easier than you can imagine. There is far more eye contact between naturists and perhaps concentrates the mind on the conversation as it is often said how friendly and approachable naturists are. It is obviously etiquette not to stare at people, but as always, do unto others that as you wish to be done by. Stands fast. The biggest fear of taking part in a uh, as a naturist is usually a person's own lack of self-esteem. They think their body is not good enough to be seen. Am I right? Is that what you've been thinking? That, that's all right for those who are slim, trim and toned, beautifully tanned and attractive? Well, think again. Naturists are not, are not that small a section of population. They are, they are a whole cross-section of sizes and shapes, from all backgrounds and all ages, uh, ages. A thorough mixed bunch of people, so yes, you too can be a naturist. Do not worry that you have, uh, have a body problem that might stop you from being unclothed, as a naturist community is one of the, was one place that is totally acceptable and you will not find prejudice or ridicule. I have witnessed this and have been told directly by people with artificial limbs, mastostomies, colorectal and, and scars. Sorry for the bad pronunciation of words there. What I hear... 
what I hear time and time again is that nature is a, is like is a great leveller, by which people mean that once clothing is identified is removed, we all see the real person and take more notice of the true self, the attitude, their intelligence, their friendliness, the sense of humour, and their feelings. Gone is the need to dress and imp uh, to impress and hide behind a false persona. People often worry about the fact, uh, effect naturism has on children, but it is children who love being uh, fr free of clothing, and, his, uh, and it is only the grown-ups who finally make them feel ashamed of their bodies. By raising children in a naturist community, you will be raising them with fewer hang-ups and greater understanding of their peers, and no white bits. What could, what could possibly persuade you to uh, be a naturist and having no white bits? Bodies look the best colour when they um, when have an all-over colour. But don't worry if you're a redhead and burnt and easily. Naturism is, is just about getting isn't just about getting a suntan. It's about being natural and feeling good. And you can do it in the shade too. Many men are genuinely worried that they might suffer a natural erection to an attractive female, but soon appreciate um, appreciate that we are dealing with a non-sexual nudity and the addition of clothing uh, adds a sexual connotation. Having that said, it is always a good idea to carry a towel. It can be held in front of your body if you feel rather exposed and it also provides you with something to do with your hands when standing around, initially feeling very much on show. You will soon feel total disease and just drape it over your arm or shoulder. Of course, it's a compulsory accessory for every naturist, as it is, uh, as, as, as it is etiquette, for ob but for obvious reasons. You sit on a towel when using communal seating. Ladies, you might wonder what to do when you have a period, and the answer is simple. Wear whatever is comfortable for you. Of course, it would, be, it would soon be noticed in most clubs if you are ne never uncovered, as the majority are not, are not clothes are optional. You do need to have the intention to be a naturist whenever possible. This leads another frequently asked question. What do you do when it gets cold? The answer to this is more obvious than people imagine. We get dressed. It is strange how people still, uh, still think naturists remain naked whenever, whatever the weather. And I always uh, explain that we are naturists, not masochists or stupid or whatever. What you will find is that you need to carry something warm but easy to slip onto as the temperature uh, in this country changes like uh, the weather. <laughs> as many of us who live in the UK will understand that is very true. There are many jokes about what, what to do with your money and keys as you have no prize pocket. And there are no pr uh, prize for realising that the female half the couple always ends up uh, with everything in a handbag. But isn't that always the case? Anywhere. It goes almost without saying that cooking, especially barbecuing, is, be is best done wearing an apron, if only to dispel those silly jokes about cooking the wrong sausage and protect your sp uh, oneself from spitting fats. I shall continue the rest of this article in part two, due to the time limit. See you then.